just a quick show of hands. It's about 30 people around me right now. Everyone's terrified of getting cancelled. I understand what fear does to you. Can I get a quick show of hands? Who thinks that men belong in female space, safe spaces? If you think that men belong in... Oh, that's not very nice. At your age, you would have learned some manners, no? Put your hand up if you think that men belong in female safe spaces. Open question, it's not loaded. 30, 40 people are listening to me give my little speech. I've driven four hours to give. If you think that men belong anywhere near female safe spaces, put your hand up. So either, either you're working for the mob, or you're too afraid, or you agree with me. So if I can come this far today and win the hearts and minds of 30 people, then my bit for today is done. Because what's required up and down the country by concerned citizens, by British patriots, by concerned families, mothers and fathers, is to find the strength in unity, in numbers, in solidarity, to stand up against the evil that we face in Britain. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about, about what that evil looks like. It's very important we understand what we're up against. And before I go on, you see the little signs that they're waving down there? You know the one that says, refugees welcome here? You see their little boards? Can you see that it says Socialist Worker Party, guys? Who knows about the Socialist Worker Party and where they get their money from? The biggest expose in my career is going to happen when those trade union uh, members work out where their trade union money is going to. It's going to the far left in Britain. My name is Nick Tenconi, and I am the leader of the UK Independence Party. And I am going to be the voice of the working class. I am going to be the voice of concerned citizens, of British patriots, of the Christian community, and all law-abiding, common-sense folk. Those signs, everything to do with the far-left mob in Britain, is funded and facilitated by the Socialist Worker Party. They bust people in to form a mob. I asked who agrees that men should be anywhere near female safe spaces. No one put their hand up. That mob right now are, is running about three different campaigns. One is that we should have open borders. Two is free Palestine. And three, that refugees, it doesn't matter the cost, are welcome in Britain. Then they call you a fascist, a Nazi, a bigot, and a racist. But we've come together today to talk about protecting the most vulnerable and innocent within society. Now as I walked in, I heard that they were glorifying the radical trans lobby and that trade union money is inclusive. Soon or enough, all those sensible people who work for trade unions are going to work out where their funding is going. And one by one, they're going to cancel their membership. That's how it works. They're going to cancel their membership because they've worked out that it's funding the far left in Britain. My family were migrants. My family were, some of my family were French Huguenots. Is it Bluetooth? They were thrown out of France. No one cares about your sob story. We're all, we're all second, third, fourth, fifth generation immigrants. No one's talking about that. No one's talking about that. We are here to talk, to talk about and to raise the issue of having female safe spaces. So this is why it's so important 
that everybody here understands that if you stand up for women within society, that does not make you a racist. That does not make you a bigot. That does not make you a Nazi. That does not make you a fascist in any way, shape or form. We are here to talk about protecting women, protecting girls and their safe spaces. And we get called racist for that. Now I want to tell you a story that's so, so important. The reason why they want to call you a racist, the reason why they want to call you a Nazi, is to defame you. It is to destabilize you. They issue psychological warfare to cripple you. That's what Nazis do. That's what the far left do. They label you a racist, a bigot, a Nazi, a fascist to silence you, to shut you up. Let's have a listen to them, guys. Can everyone have a listen now? Can you hear that? Nazi scum off our streets because we've come together to protect and stand up for the most vulnerable within society, women. How can anybody object to that? What kind of mentality? What kind of disorder? What kind of madness? What kind of insecurity? What kind of infection? must you have inside of you to object to what we've come here to talk about? The left always score an own goal. They always set their own trap. We come in unity to protect women and girls and safe spaces. And they scream Nazi. The British public needs to see this. The British public needs to understand this. They need to understand the far left totalitarian propaganda. Notice that they've hacked the Bluetooth on the speaker. Notice they've hacked the speaker because they want to silence me. They want me to quieten down. They don't want me to stand up for women. They don't want me to stand up for the most innocent and vulnerable within society. Ladies and gentlemen, the far left mob in Britain. How happy, how happy am I? There is no way that I would restrict someone's right to speak. I love my city. There's no way I would, re I would remove I someone's right to freedom of speech. It's not something that I would do. I would want to have a conversation. I would want to debate with them, for example. They call me a traitor, but you know what? Let's have a listen, guys. Listen to the argument. Listen to the argument. The other thing is, if they like refugees, why aren't they taking them in? Teachers! We work in the care system! Have a listen, have a listen. You called us traitors, make me laugh. You know, it's really interesting. My skin crawled Have a listen, when guys. I heard listen that they were coming in past Primark. Primark. Anyone, Anyone know, know their history, history will know that Primark was the original location of the first synagogue. No in one Norwich. cares about Primark. And Have a listen, guys. I'll put my speech on hold. Listen, he's talking country. about Primark. And we all know We're talking about women's we safe spaces and protecting the, the most vulnerable within society. And he's talking about Primark. He's talking about Primark. Go on, mate. Women, anyone do my job for me. In the creed of hate. That's how it starts. They so, apparently, and protecting women, women's safe spaces is hatred. Trans people. Apparently, it's okay. hateful. And if we can peel them off, and then we can peel others Now, I want to tell you a story about what happened to me this week. It will only be the beginning James, 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 James. That's why we're here. Is there anything we can do to stop that? The only thing we can do is go far further away. So how I do it, I try turning it off and on again, see if that helps. What yeah. things One second, guys. Over the last, well, many... 
Oh, right. You can't triangulate on height. You can't triangulate on height. And we okay. have to play So, our job is now being made harder because they want to silence us. So I'm going to ask everyone to bear with me and try and zone in on what I'm saying and don't let that interfere. This week, I was giving a speech in the south of England. I was in a town standing up for local citizens who do not want illegal immigrants being housed at the taxpayer expense. Now, we're not here to talk about that today, but those citizens have a right to be concerned for their wives, their daughters, their girlfriends, and their mothers. They had every right to speak out about illegal immigration in the UK. There are two migrant hotels in that town. I went to give a speech in solidarity to give them a voice and to inspire bravery and to remind everyone of their duty to stand up against two-tier policing, against corrupt government laws. In the neighbouring town, ladies and gentlemen, in the neighbouring town, the far left turned up to silence a group of patriots who had arrived. This was in Aldershot, the home of the British Army. I turned up on the scene to 30, 40 young British patriots who were being shouted down by the mob. I took myself and two associates to the front line of the mob and I stood there and I shouted with these people. I said, communist scum off our streets. I told them they are the fascists. I stood up for the group of British youth, the patriotic youth. Do you know what happened to me the next day on social media? Those people that know me decided to come for me and say that I was grooming them. I wasn't even there for the protest. It wasn't my protest. I turned up to say to them, you have no right to speak to these people who have legitimate concerns. That is why we run the Enough is Enough campaign. I stood up for those people and they shouted the same thing back at us. We don't want the boats coming to Britain and they called us fascists. They called us Nazis. This is the exact same thing that we are seeing here. We come together to say that women's spaces should remain safe and men should not be allowed in those spaces. And we get called fascists. Thank you, Norwich. You, you can't write the timing of that. Thank you, guys. That landed perfectly. Fight the fascists now! 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 Fight the fascists now!